Hello everyone, I'm Christy, and this is my channel, Christy Pinsty. So those of you who are new here, my channel is mostly about my pin collection, specifically my Disney pin collection, and some other fun Disney things. So today I have a fun Disney pin collection thing. I bought a Nightmare Before Christmas lot. So this is someone's Nightmare Before Christmas collection that I purchased off of eBay. So I'm gonna open it for you guys and show you what all I have. So when I open this, I'm gonna go over to my table and show you guys up close. You can see a good up close look at all of these pins. There are some that I'm probably gonna keep because I do have a small side collection of Nightmare Before Christmas, but there's some that I probably already have in my collection and there are some that are just gonna be too big because I want that collection to stay fairly small to fit on a small pin board. So I'm gonna show you all guys what is all is in here and then whatever I don't keep will be in my sale over on my Instagram, Christy Pinsty, just like this channel. I'll have a um, Halloween sale and I'll put all my Nightmare Before Christmas pins and my Halloween pins and maybe um, my Haunted Mansion pins and things like that, all the spooky type pins and I'll have a live sale and then do a board sale after. So go check out my Instagram page as well, Christy Pinsty. Now, let's get to opening this box. So I see some lanyards in there and there's lots of bubble wrapped pins in there. I don't remember how many pins were in this collection, so let's go open it. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. There is a handful of lanyards in here. Looks like maybe three. I'll give you an up close look at that when I show you on the table. There is a bubble wrapped pin in here. And there is a large Ziploc bag of every pin bubble wrapped in here. I believe that might be all of the pins, but let's check all this packing paper to make sure there's nothing inside. All right, I'll check that packing paper to make sure, but there's nothing under the packing paper. So let's get to opening the pins. Here's a look of everything on my table. I'm gonna slide these out of the way and then we're gonna look at everything up close. So first of all, we had three lanyards in there. So this is one of them. It is the larger lanyard, so it's the wide lanyard. It does have the Velcro to, um, the Velcro spot there. And this one just has all the different faces of Jack. So you have a white one and then a dark one, a black one and it's all the different faces of Jack, as well as on the other side in purple. Then on the inside, it's white. So you have like a barbed wire, um, briar type design there with a skeleton in the middle. So different types of skeleton heads in the middle of those. So this is a reversible lanyard. And again, it is a wide one. You can usually fit I believe like two pins on the side will fit because it is the wide lanyard. And I'll give you an example with the other one. So here's the other one, it's orange. So to give you a size comparison, if you put them side by side here, if I can get it for you. So they're on the edge. So you see that you can basically fit two lanyards with the one. Here's the other lanyard as well. So let's see. So when I get everything situated, so you see the width of the wide lanyard is the same width of two normal size lanyards. So that is the wide one, it's reversible. You had purple on one side with the jack faces, and then on the inside, you had the briar design with the skeleton heads. So there's that one. And then the other two, we have this one that is orange. It does have the tag at the bottom, the card. My daughter loves the card on the bottom of hers. So it says Jack Skellington. It's got Jack and then some jack-o'-lanterns on the side. On the back, it just gives you directions on pin trading. So this is a Disney um, Parks item. So it gives you how to trade pins. There, this one does have the Velcro at the bottom. So easy breakaway if needed. And then the design on this one is just different jack-o'-lanterns. So you have all the different jack-o'-lanterns in orange. So there's that. It is not reversible. The other side is just plain orange. So there's that one. I think this is a really cool lanyard to have just for Halloween. 
So if you go to any of the Halloween parties, the Boogie Bash or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween, this is a perfect lanyard to have if you're gonna pin trade at the party. And the second one is another Jack Skellington lanyard. So the card on here just says Jack. It's got Jack with his skeleton hands, skeleton hands. And this one gives you the directions on how to pin trade as well. It says meet a cast member wearing a pin trading lanyard. Now it's mostly boards, but find a Disney pin with your favorite Disney character, attraction, movie, design. Pin must be metal and display the at Disney on the back. So that is um, something to think about if you're trading pins. All of your pins must have that copyright Disney on the back of the pin. If it does not, then it's not tradable. Um, most of the lounge fly pins do say copyright Disney, so they are tradable. Then you trade your pin with a cast member. You can trade a maximum of two pins per cast member or board now per day. And for com complete trading guidelines, go to Disney DisneyPins.com. So there is that lanyard as well. On this one, it is not reversible. One side is black. The other side has jack-o'-lanterns, jack faces, a bat, another jack, a spider, jack, and then it kind of repeats. Jack, a bat, and then there's the spider again, a jack-o'-lantern. So there we go. So that is that lanyard as well. These will probably both be for sale, in, or all of them, all three will be for sale in my um, live on Instagram. Again, Christy Pinsty on Instagram. So now let's get into these pins. I don't believe this is a Nightmare Before Christmas pin, but it was included in their collection. So let's unwrap this one and see what we've got. So in that bubble wrap, we have a jumbo pin. This is from 2015, but this pin, again, for size reference, there's the palm of my hand. It is the size of the palm of my hand. So it is 2015. It's got the like MGM water tower. I assume that, yeah, because it's Disney World. So that was the old water tower in MGM. When it was MGM, now it is Hollywood Studios. So you have um, Sorcerer and Miss Mickey for Fantasmic. You've got uh, Goofy dressed as Darth Vader for Galaxy's Edge. You've got Maleficent. You have a cute Minnie with sunglasses for Hollywood. You've got Woody for the Toy Story Land. And you've got McQueen because McQueen's ride is in Hollywood Studios as well. And you can meet a few of the Cars characters there after the ride. So there is that big jumbo pin. This was originally $24.95, an LE of 500. So that's fairly limited, but it is 2015. Again, if you could take that off and just have the top part, that would be an amazing pin. But sadly, you've got 2015. And that was not a year that I went to Disney, so this one will be available. All right, on to the bag. So I'm gonna open it, and then I'm gonna kinda set it aside so you can see an up close look. This one looks amazing, and this one would be tempting. I do have, this one looks fairly similar to the um, open edition pen that is like this. Sorry, I'm gonna try to, they are taped very well, so this might take a while. <laughs> but it's very similar to the open edition pen they came out with, I believe last year around Halloween. But this is, very large, so again, size reference, palm of my hand there. But you have Jack on the iconic heel. It says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. You've got jack-o'-lanterns in the graveyard there. So the back of this pen, it does say Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. It is a limited edition of 500. So again, very limited, and it is from two, did I say 2006, I believe. So this is an amazing pin. It is large. I'm very tempted to keep this one though because that iconic heel is amazing and this is an LE of 500. It does have like kind of a shatter effect to the pin. So that is amazing. I would have to check and see if the moon glows. But that is an amazing pin. So we have that one. Let's see what else is in this bag. So that one I am tempted to keep. It is large though. I'm trying to keep my Nightmare Before Christmas um, collection fairly small. So I will see if I keep it or not. That one is a maybe. All right, and this one is a zero in the train. Some of these I will have to double check and make sure they are authentic because this one does have soft enamel. I think that is how these are supposed to be. 
but I will double check all of these before I put them for sale just to make sure. It does have the laser printed number, but I do know for more limited edition pens, sometimes they do the laser printed number. So just for you that are new to pen trading, especially the hidden Mickeys, if they do not have this laser printed number, can you see it there good? There you go. If they do not have that laser printed number, then they are. that's a good sign they might not be authentic. So this one does have it, so that makes me feel like maybe this one is authentic. The backing does look good. The Mickey waffling looks good on the back. It's shiny. The indentions are there like they're supposed to be. So this one does look good. I do think they were just supposed to be soft enamel. And what I mean by soft enamel, for those who are new to pin trading, you see how it looks like it dips there and it's very shiny? That's where you, it's soft enamel. So like the harder enamel is going to be it's going to be clean cut. There's not going to be any dips. You can't feel anything and it's all going to be smooth. So this is a soft enamel pin, but I think it's supposed to be that way. So there's zero in a coffin and this is a train set. Hopefully I have the whole set. We'll see. So this one is a long bubble wrapped section. So let's see what all the pins are in here. All right. So let's flip, oh, these do not have backs, that's nice. All right, so we have Oogie Boogie. I do have extra backs, I buy extra backs sometimes. So we have Oogie Boogie with Jack and then a little jack-o'-lantern um, ornament there. That one is a very nice pin. On the back, it just says Disney 2008. So there's that one, Oogie Boogie. We have a Big Sally, I believe I already have this pin. So then this one would be for sale over on my Instagram live sale. It does have the laser printed number. It does have the large spike that helps me think that this is authentic. And that laser printed number is easy to read as well. So there is Sally. And then we have, oh, this one is not Nightmare for Christmas. This is Space Mountain. Oh, I might have to keep this one. <laughs> I have my attraction collection. I do keep the Fab Five. So this one has Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie on Space Mountain. You can see Space Mountain in the background. It's pin on pin. That one is cool. I have a stitch one, so I'll have to see. This one is definitely authentic though. So there is that one. That is a very cute one. So I try to keep my collection to the Fab Five. I did love my stitch uh, Space Mountain because um, his ride is over in Tomorrowland as well, or what was his ride is no longer. <laughs> but there is that one. Again, tempted to keep that one in my collection. I'll decide if I like my stitch or this one better. Let's see what else is in this bag and move along. So this one is, let's get the tape off. They are bubble wrapped nicely though. Oh, this is a lanyard metal. All right. So for the lanyards, this is, uh-oh, I had something else in there, I'll go get it. <laughs> so this is the lanyard medal. We have Jack wearing a little Mickey hat. So on the back, it looks like a pin, so it has that Mickey waffling on the back and the Disney pin trading logo there. So it is a lanyard medal. You can hook it to your lanyard and it is a lanyard metal. These are very heavy though. I don't use them because of that, because they're very heavy, but they are amazing to display if you display them on your pin board. So we have that. This is what I dropped. <laughs> it is a button of Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and they have their mask up in the air, and they're dancing around. That's a cute little button. So a button means that it has, it is not a pin, it has the like um, brooch style uh, pin on the back. So that's why you call these a button. So these are considered a button. So again, for all of you that um, are looking at listings on eBay and so forth, this is a button style or, and also if it says brooch, it will have this style of pin on the back instead of the um, post like that. So there is that. Let's see what else is inside my bag. So here is a roll of pins. All right, we've got it. Let's roll this out and see what all pins we have. Looks like they're all Vinylmations. So Vinylmations, if you don't know, were big plastic figures that Disney used to have and they were 
You changed them into all the characters. They looked just like this. So it was in the shape of a Mickey, but they're a big plastic character, so it looked like Mickey, and then they made another character into it. So they have a collection of pins like those figures. So this is Santa Jack. So there is that one. I cannot read the date on these to know when they were from. Early 2000s, I think. It's hard to see on the video camera, but there is Santa Jack as a vinyl. And there is Sally as a vinyl. That one's cute. So there is Sally as a vinylmation. And these are probably all from the same set, so I'm not gonna show the back of these. Oh, there is the mayor. That's a cute one too, as a vinyl. So the mayor as a vinyl. I probably will not keep these. I'm not a big fan of the vinylmations. These Nightmare Before Christmas ones are very cute though, but I probably will not keep these in my collection. This one is a barrel, I believe. Yeah, because he's got the devil horns and his face is rounder. So this is barrel, and that's how I remember it because his face is rounder, so it looks like a barrel. That's how I remember that one is barrel. <laughs> and then this vinylmation is Oogie Boogie. That one's cute too. So you've got a little moon for one of the ears and then the upper part of his um, like sack there. So Oogie Boogie as a vinylmation, and that one is cute. There's that one. And our last Vinylmation in this package is Jack, of course. So we have Jack Skellington in his suit. That is cute as a Vinylmation as well. Oh, he's so cute. So there is Jack Skellington as a Vinylmation. And that is all the vinyls in that package. Let's see what else we have. So here's another long one that's gonna have several pins in it. Let's see if I can get into this. All right, and let's roll this out and see what pins are inside here. These don't have backs either. Oh, okay. I think some of these may be not authentic. Oh, we've got Genie. I am not a big fan of the chasers though, but here is Genie. You have the lamp, so this is a hidden Mickey. So you see the little Mickey icon there. That's the difference in a hidden Mickey. So you have the lamp and you have Genie coming out of it with his top hat. Let's check and see. Oh, this one is definitely authentic. So some telltale signs to look at if you're trying to figure out the difference in authentic and scrapper. They will not have the tall pegs. They will be very small. On a hidden Mickey, the waffling on the back, you will see edges to where it doesn't go all the way to the sides like it's supposed to, as well as the words here will not have the correct spacing. So they'll be smushed together or like eight and of will be right next to each other instead of having the correct spacing. So that's just something to look for. So this one is authentic. I probably won't keep it because it is a chaser, but I do collect Aladdin. Here is another one that is not um, A Nightmare Before Christmas. So we have Mon Monday, a case of the Mondays, Pluto. I feel you, Pluto. I don't like Mondays either. I do not think this one is authentic. So here is an example. Um, it does not have the pegs. It has this little spike here instead of the two pegs on the side. And then you see how of and seven are very close to each other and it does not have the correct spacing. So this one is a scrapper. So I'm gonna put it off to the other side. It is not authentic. We have another non Nightmare Before Christmas. We have Tomato. That one looks good on the front. Let's check the back. Oh, there we go. So this one has the bags. It has the words, the spacing correct there. Everything is correct on the side. So I was, this one is authentic. So we have a tomato, a little notebook hidden Mickey. Next we have the, um, the penguins. Oh goodness, I just forgot the name of this show. But this was an older show, little cartoon on a Disney Channel. Um, but I did not watch this show, so sorry guys. Those of you who did, let me know in the comments. I do think this one is authentic. I'll have to double check it, but it does look good from the front and the back. It is not soft enamel, it's shiny. I don't see any major dips on this one. So I think he's good. But again, I'll double check all these pins with the coloring and everything. I'll look online and make sure everything looks good. Here's a Jack t-shirt. And this one is not authentic. It does not have the pegs on the side. And you see how the words are hard to read there. Everything is jumbled together. So this one is a non-authentic, but it is cute. It is a little Jack t-shirt. I would want a real t-shirt like that. So that is all in that package. Let's see what else we have in here. Next we have, looks 
like some more hidden Mickeys, which may be scrappers, but let's see. So the first one is a fast pass. Oh goodness, no longer. Let me know in the comments how you feel about fast passes leaving. This one actually looks authentic though. See the sharp spikes there. You can read the words. All the spacing of five of five looks great. And the front looks good. It is shiny. There's no dips. So I think this is an authentic fast pass. Maybe I need to keep it since <laughs> just for nostalgia purposes. And our next pin here is the flag, Walt Disney World flag. You used to see these everywhere on the boards at Disney World. You don't see them as much anymore. Again, I feel like this one is probably a scrapper. These older ones get hard for me to tell. See the posts are very small. The lettering looks okay, but I would think that this one is just a scrapper just because they've been scrapped so much. The other thing is if I could get it in the light very good. It's hard to on the video. My lighting isn't the greatest over here, but I think you can see where it's not as shiny. It's like brushed. So if you can see the brush strokes when you shine it in the light, see it doesn't shine. That lets you know that it's probably not authentic. So this is another one that's not authentic. Put it over to the other side. We also have a Tron pin. I believe this one was from um, the movie, like it was a movie promotion pin, yeah, from um, AMC or something like that. So I think it was from a movie promotion, but it is tradable at Disney, even though it was from there it does say copyright Disney there at the top so you can trade these. It is soft enamel too. There is a Tron pin and we have a rock and roller coaster pin. There we go now it focuses. So this is in the shape of a guitar pick. It says Disney Hollywood Studios for rock and roller coaster. I've had this one several times. It does have the laser printed number on the side. See if I can get it to focus where you can see. There we go. So the laser printed number on the side with some bubble wrap stuck to it. <laughs> there we go. So there is that one, Rock and Roller Coaster. It is authentic, so it'll be in my sale as well. It is not Nightmare Before Christmas though, but I'll put it in my board sale. All right, next, next. Let's see if we can get into some more Nightmare Before Christmas. I see a Jack in there, so let's see. Here we go. All right. Let's open these up. Ooh, we've got some mittens, so I'll show this first. This is not Nightmare Before Christmas. So we have, oh, it's Minnie. How cute. This is from the Caribbean Beach Resort 2015. So they always do holiday pins for the resorts at Walt Disney World at Christmas time. So this is the one from 2015. So it is mittens. They are connected by a string. That is a cute set, though. So this one does have a little bit of a border there, but I think these are still, yeah, because it's got the, so sometimes when you get pins that are not hidden Mickeys, they do have a border, so that is okay. So it does have its FAC number laser printed there. It is an LE of 750. Fairly low for these little Christmas pins. That one's cute. Little mini. Well, she's cute. So there's that one. That is not Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, we have some more train pins, so here we go. So Sally, you see she is soft enamel as well. Again, I'll double check these to make sure, but they do have the laser printed number on them and they are open edition, so they're not limited. So I feel like these are probably okay, but I'm going to double check these. So we have Sally and Zero from this set now. There's Sally, there's Sally. And this is, what is this? Soren. So this is a, not a Nightmare Before Christmas pin. So we have Soren, we have Mickey and his wings. He's flying the plane. So this is for the ride, Soren. It's in Disney World and California Adventure, I believe. Right? Or Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland. I wish, but I have only been to Disney World. So this is a rubberized jack. That's cool. It'll need to be cleaned up some, but a little magic eraser will get all that little dirt off and it'll clean it right off. But it is rubberized, so it's very thick. You can see it's like bendable, but it is a pin. So if you take this off, you can see the pin post there. So it is a pin, even though it is rubberized. So this one does say Touchstone and not Disney. So this one, by rules, is not tradable at Disney. I feel like they'll probably let you, but 
you want to be strict and go by the rules, it does not say copyright Disney on the back. It says copyright Touchstone, so it may not be tradable. So just FYI. I'll probably get rid of this one. I'm not a big fan of the 3D type pins just because they stick out on my board and it take, takes away from all the other pins. I like for all of my pins to look the same. So that one may be for sale. So I'm kind of sad that most of these don't have backs, but that's okay. Just means I'm gonna have to buy some more backs. All right, so we have a Jack face. Let's see if he is authentic. I know these have been scrapped. Yeah, I would say this one is not authentic. So we have a angry Jack face. It's supposed to be from Paris there. So if you can see the rainbow, Disneyland Paris. And usually they will have the spikes as well. I'll double check this one, but I'm pretty sure this one is not authentic. So I'll slide, you see the, yeah, you see the brush strokes when I'm shining in the light? You can see those little lines. So he's not authentic, but that's a cute one too. I'll put it to the other side though. We have a, another non Nightmare Before Christmas, a Tower of Terror pin. I love this one, I have it in my collection. The um, elevator strings have broken, Goofy and Mickey are, well Goofy's having a good time, and Mickey is terrified. And it does slide back and forth and kind of up and down a little. And I think that one is a cool one. I have it in my own collection. So there's that one. And we have a zero. Oh, this is a pretty zero. I might have to keep this one too. So we have zero with his pumpkin nose. You see the heel in the background with Jack standing back there on the by the moon. That one is adorable. There's the back of that one. It's got its number and its sharp post. Oh, that one's pretty. That one might have to be a keeper. Sorry, guys. All right, up next, let's see what else we have in our bag. Still have a lot to go, guys. <laughs> I hope you're sticking around and enjoy these type of videos. I don't normally buy this big of lot of pins, but I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. I collect Nightmare Before Christmas, so I had to snag it for myself, as well as sell some that I don't collect. So we have the mayor in front of, like, the Capitol, I guess? What is that? I do not know what the writing says on the mayor. Somebody let me know. All right, so this one is a limited edition of 250. Wow, that's a pretty low LE. So I'll have to double, again, if it's a low LE like that, I always have to double check and make sure that it's authentic. But nothing is telling me differently on this one. It looks good. It's got the glitter and the enamel. He's got his bow. It's got lots of details that would be harder to scrap, but I will have to double check and make sure. I probably will sell this one. I have a mayor pin. That's the other thing with my collections. I like to just collect two or three of the same character, so that way my board is not filled with the exact same character, aside from my big collection. So Little Mermaid is probably my biggest, as well as Lion King. So those I kind of collect like everything, but others like Nightmare Before Christmas, I don't. I kind of try to collect just my two or three favorites of the same character. This one is a limited edition as well, but it's harder to read. And you see how everything is jumbled up right there? I believe this one is fake, sadly. I'll double check it and you see it's kinda, it kinda looks like soft enamel. It doesn't look shiny like the other one. So sadly, I think this one's fake, even though it's a good one. So I'll put it over to the side. Let's look at some other ones in here. And I do not, like I said, I do not remember how much I spent on this lot. It was not cheap. <laughs> I will say that it was not cheap, but I had to take my chances on this one. So we have Jack and Zero. I think I have this one in my collection as well. I am not sure if this one is authentic. I'll have to double check with the one that I have in my collection and make sure. But I have this one already, so it would be for sale if it is authentic. So there's an up-close look at that one. You have Zero's little pumpkin nose in the graveyard. That one's cute. I'll have to double check it though. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like we're kind of getting down to like one pin per package. <laughs> so let's see. Here is a Jack Snowflake. That one is cool too. I like that. So we have a snowflake to like bring in the Christmas side of Nightmare Before Christmas. 
This one is a spinner. It won't spin unless you take the backs off, looks like. So the other side says, Season's Greetings, Scre Season's Screamings, 2015. So I don't like that it says 2015, of course, but you would, all, you would keep it on this side. But there's how it spins. So it's all glittery on that side. And then Jack on this side. If you keep it on this side, that is cute. This one may be another keeper for me. Don't think it says limited, does it say? Yes, it does. Limited edition of, it may say 4,000. I think it says 4,000, 4,000. So not that very low of an LE, but it is cool and I, I haven't seen this one too often. So this one might stay in my collection, sorry guys. That one's cute. All right, let's see what else we have. We're getting lower into the bag. Thanks for those of you who are sticking around. I enjoy doing these. I enjoy the hunt of finding cool pins. So see, oh, this one is neat that I have never seen before. So we have Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. This is very Christmassy for Nightmare Before Christmas. You have Jack on like a sled there. You've got Christmas trees in the background, candy cane decorations, a present. But this one was supposed to be a light up pin. I do not believe it lights up anymore. Let's focus on the back real quick. Uh, maybe not. There we go. Disney store pin. It is an LE of 1400. Touchstone pictures. Let's see if it works. I'm positive it will not. I can't even click it. Over. Oh, it works. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. It works. So it flashes red and green lights. Looks like that bulb is not working, but this one and this one work. Oh my goodness. That's cool. That's amazing. So it still works from, when was it from? Does it say? It does not. Doesn't have a, um, doesn't have a date on the back. So I don't know when it was from, but it works. How amazing. That one's cool. I probably won't keep it because again, it's 3D. I just don't like the ones that stand out. It will perfectly fit on the back of your board. So the pin posts are longer. It will fit on your board, but I just don't like that they stick out. But that is an amazing pin. All right, on to the next one. Sorry guys, I like to talk about pins. I love these. Pins have always been my thing. Like when I was younger, um, when we went on vacation, that was always like the souvenir that I wanted to find was a pin. So I've had some pins from when I was younger. I never got into Disney pin trading until just a couple of years ago. So we have, oh, I forgot his name. Finkels, no, Finkelstein? Yeah, Finkelstein, right? So we have a Finkelstein Vinylmation. So it looks like maybe we're gonna have the whole set of Vinyl Nightmare Before Christmas Vinylmations. That's cool. All right, so I Finkelstein Nightmare uh, Vinylmation. But as I was saying, I do love, um, I've always loved enamel pins and they're coming back for a long time when I went on vacation, I could not find any pins, and I can't find where the tape ends on this one. <laughs> I couldn't find any pins, and then now all of a sudden, you know, like, enamel pins are coming back. You see them in everything. So, I'm excited about that. I love picking up pins, even if they're not Disney, on my vacations. And then that spurred the fascination for Disney pins when I saw people trading at the parks. I didn't know what it was and what it entailed. I just saw people wearing them, and I was like, ooh. I like that and I would buy one as a souvenir and then didn't get into trading until just a couple years ago. Oh, that one has a has a scratch. Oh, that's sad. This is the one from Tower of Terror. It says your room is ready. We invite you if you dare. Your room is ready. Are you? Your bellhop. That one is spooky. I love the Tower of Terror ride. I'm sad that that one has a scratch though. So that's gonna bring its value down a lot. It has a scratch there that's you can see pretty well and i think those scratches are supposed to look like that but that's definitely a scratch there so that's going to bring its value down but that is a very cool pin tower of terror all right let's see what's next move along move along this video is going to be quite long so sorry guys but i hope you enjoy the mystery and seeing what's inside this bubble wrap that's hard to get off <laughs> Here we go, all right, let's unwrap, unwrap. Another one without a back. Not Nightmare Before Christmas, this is Test Track. That's a cool ride at Epcot. So a Test Track, 
It does say Epcot there. So there's that one. It's got its FAC number on the back. That one's cool. All right, I've had that one several times. Let's move along and try to find some Nightmare Before Christmas pins. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like this one's Jack. I can get the bubble wrap off. <laughs> they are taped really well. And I can't get the bubble wrap off. There we go, got the tape off. Unwrap, unwrap. Ah, oh, this is, yes, the 3D. 3D type jack pin. So you've got jewel, black jewels for his eyes. He does stand out on the side. You can see he's kind of 3D. He's got that sly grin on him. That one's in good shape. So there is that jack one. That one will be for sale for sure. Again, I don't collect the 3D ones. That's just my personal preference. They are very pretty pins though. I just don't like that they stand out on my board. And even in the collections that I collect lots of, if I get 3D pins like that, they kind of sit on the side of my board versus on my pin board. All right, this one looks like it is not a nightmare pin either. It is Toy Story. All right, let's see. Get all this bubble wrap off, there we go. All right, so I'll show this one first. This is Toy Story, Toy Story Mania. It does have a 3D bubble there, but I love this ride. I might have to keep this one on my attraction board and it might just stand out because that Toy Story Mania is such a fun ride in Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios. If you've ever played it, your arm is sore by the end. I think I'm gonna keep this one. All right, I have this one in my collection for sure. So I already have this one, so this one will be for sale as well. Jack in that orange background there, very Halloween spooky. And I have this one too. We have Oogie Boogie with the, I don't know who this little character is, but you got Oogie Boogie. So there we go. Those two will definitely be for sale because I have them already. Let's see where the end of the tape is on this one. There we go. All right, let's see what this pin is. This one is Everest. So not a nightmare pin either. So there is Everest, that one is a cool one. Expedition Everest, that's my favorite ride in Animal Kingdom. I am definitely a thrill junkie. So the arm and Everest is pin on pin there on this one. That makes it cool. The Yeti there looks cool. I will not keep this one. I have an Expedition Everest pin that I love. It has stitch on it and that one is my favorite. So this one will be for sale for sure. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like Nightmare ones in this slot. Package. Let's open this up and get out these pins. All right, yes, lots of Nightmare Before Christmas in this one. We have Jack and Sally. So here's Jack and Sally in front of a little gravestone. I think I have this one in my collection already. So this one will be for sale. That one's a pretty pin. I like that one as a couple's pin. We have, oh, this one is not Nightmare Before Christmas. It is Mickey with a bunch of snowflakes. It says winter 2015. It has a stained glass effect, so you can see through it there. That one's a really pretty pin. Now, those of you who don't like dates, I'm not gonna keep this one, although it's pretty, but if you don't like the date, you can scratch that off. I'm not going to do it because I'm not gonna keep this pin, but if it doesn't sell, that's what I would do. I would scratch this off and then you don't see the date and then you don't see winter and it's just Mickey with a little stained glass snowflake behind him and it makes it a s amazing pin, so pretty. But again, value to sell after you do that, <laughs> it's not, it's damaged at that point so you lose your value. So just something to think about, but that's a cool one. And next, oh, this one's amazing. Oh, I love this one. This one's probably gonna go in my collection, sorry. So you've got Jack in the heel. In the background, you have Sally looking at him fondly beside the gravestone. Oh, this one's amazing. This one's gonna stay in my collection. Again, sorry, Sally's pin on pin. That's an amazing pin. That one is staying in my collection for sure. All right, and next we have Jack with all the faces. And I think I have this one already. I'll double check my collection, but I think I already have this one. 
So I think that one will be for sale in my pencil. And I think, I'm not positive, but I'm thinking, leaning towards that I will have my sale on Tuesday, um, October the 25th. So I'll just show all of my like Halloween pins in the live. So I'll do that Tuesday night at 8.30 Central Time on Tuesday night and then do a board sale, post all the leftovers, and then a board sale after. Looks like it's coming off, but it's not. So we have a very merry Christmas party from 2015. We've got Pluto with a present, Minnie in a little Santa outfit, and Mickey at the top with a Santa sack. That's cute. Oh, you can see the castle. So the castle, it's got a stained glass effect, and the castle is in the background. That's pretty. I'm sure this is an LE. It is a limited edition of, if I turn it the right way, limited, oh, limited release. So it's not a limited edition, it's a limited release, meaning they only um, had these for a certain amount of time and then they were gone. So it's similar to a limited edition, but it's not a set number. It's just however many they made for a while. Oh, there's a, another one, just like I see it through the bubble wrap. It's just like the other one that I said was a scrapper, so uh -huh. Maybe this one's authentic and the other one's a scrapper. Let's see. All right, so we have the Jack and Zero. Looks like this one is just as a scrapper too. Yes, oh, sad. So I believe this one is a scrapper just like the other one. So somebody must have gotten a hold of these somewhere. So it's just like the other one, sadly. But these are very nice pins, even though they're scrappers. So one of them will probably stay in my collection just because what am I gonna do with it when it's not it's fake, it's not authentic. All right, more bubble wrap, more tape. Let's see what this pin is. This one is, it is a haunted man. Oh, it's for the overlay. So I just watched um, like the behind the making or something like that on Disney Plus about Haunted Mansion and I loved learning about that. But this is the overlay, so only in Disneyland, they have the overlay of the Haunted Mansion where they change it to Nightmare Before Christmas. So this pin is amazing. It does have a date, it says 2003, but that is an amazing pin. It does not have a limited edition, it's just open edition from 2003. But you've got Madame Leota there and then all of the Nightmare Before Christmas characters for the overlay. That's amazing. I would love to see that one day, but again, never been to Disneyland. So that one will be for sale. All right, let's see what's inside here. All right, let's get this one opened. And we have another train. So this is the um, Doom Buggy. I forgot what it was all of a sudden. So this is the Doom Buggy, and you have, I'm not sure who these characters are, so somebody in the comments let me know. I assume it, it is Nightmare Before Christmas. So this one I'm gonna have to check because I know a lot of these Hollywood Studio Store pins have been faked. So this one's supposed to be an LA of 250. It does have the laser printed number, but for these, I know that they still have that. I know there's something to do with this sorcerer hat that if it has like the lip on it and it's not completely a circle, that means it's authentic. I do see the little lips, so hopefully this is. I'll have to check it. But hopefully this one is authentic, but I will have to check that one for sure. But it is part of a train. It's different from this train set, so it's not the same one. This one is a different set than this, so I will have to see. I'll have to double check this one for sure. But that's a nice pin. It's not one I'll keep if it is authentic, but I'll have to check. But it's got thick weight, but again, these are so hard to tell. I'll have to look this one up and get some second opinions on this one. But that's a nice one. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh no, I just dropped that one. Uh-oh. All right, so let me pick up the pin I dropped. And the pin I dropped was Animal Kingdom. So I've got Animal Kingdom with the elephant and a dragon and the dinosaur. So this one will be good to keep because they're getting rid of Dino Land eventually. I saw that. I kind of like that. I mean, there's not much over there in Dino Land anymore. 
So I kind of like that they're gonna do something different with it. But there's that one. We have, oh, this is a hinge pin. So we've got Jack and inside is just Jack with all of the different characters. So you've got Oogie Boogie, you've got the mayor, you have Jack, you have, um, so Lock, no, Lock, Barrel, and Shock, right? No, Shock is the witch. Shock is the witch, this is Lock. Here we go, Shock, Barrel, and Lock. I think I'm correct. And then on the inside, it's kind of like a mirror there. On that side, it needs to be cleaned up some. I can clean it up. There's that one, that's a cool Nightmare Before Christmas pin. And I won't keep this one again, because it's hinged, it's 3D. It's not, not something I'm gonna keep. We've got Magic Kingdom 71st. So this is from, oh no, this was from Magic Kingdom. What is the 71 from? Because it's the 50th. I'll have to look at the 71. I don't know what that is. Is that Mickey's birthday maybe? Because Mickey's on here, but Mickey's pin on pin. So I'll have to look that one up and see what the 71 is for, or tell me in the comments if you know. And we have a Sorcerer Mickey Epcot. That one is pretty. Again, not one I'm gonna keep, but that one is a nice pin. We're almost to the end. We have one more little package and then a big pin in here. So let's find the tape and get this one opened. Almost to the end. Thank you guys for all of you who have stuck around and watched all of these pins. I hope you found some you liked. I definitely did. All right, so we have Hollywood Studios and the clapper goes up and down. So Mickey has the clapper and moves quite a bit. That one's cute. All right, so Hollywood Studios. There's that one from 2008, looks like. That's a cute one. And then we have Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and Barrel is holding his mask over here. Again, I have several pins that look similar to this, so I'm gonna keep my favorite. This one might be my favorite over the two that I, or one or two that I have, so we'll see. And then I'll put the ones that were from my collection in the pin sale, but I might be keeping this one, just FYI. I like it. And last is Boogie Boogie, and I definitely have this one. I think it is a scrapper though. It is not shiny when I put it in that light. So let's check. All right, so let's do some checking here. It has posts, but you see how the posts are very small. You can barely see them. On the sides, you can see that edging there. See the edging where it doesn't go all the way to the side. It kind of stops right here. So that is telltale sign that this one is fake. It is a scrapper. So sad, but I already have this one. So that one will go to the side as well. And one last pin in my bag. It is a big one if you can't tell. So the last pin in this bag. Let's open it. Let's see if I can get it open without showing what it is. Get this tape off. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Let's see, is it taped again? It might be. It is. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. All right. Those of you who are stuck around, I saved the best for last. Are you ready to see what pin this is? It is the Oogie Boogie. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So you've got Oogie Boogie. It's got all the bugs all over him. It's got this spinner from the movie and Oogie Boogie spins. Look at Oh, that's so cool. I am not going to keep this one because it is huge. Again, reference, here's the palm of my hand. It is larger, really, almost, than the palm of my hand. It is an LE of 500. LE of 500, I don't know what this is from. Something Villain's Vault. So this was a series from Villain's Vault. It's got the FAC number there. It is amazing. So this was the grail of grails inside that lot. If you are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, this is your pin. Again, I'm not gonna keep it because it's kind of 3D. You see how it has the layers there so it will spin. So it looks like it spins. So I won't keep it just because it is huge and I can't keep it in my collection, but I love it. That is amazing. So anyone that is a Nightmare Before Christmas 
fan and would love this pin in their collection for its home. Check out my live sale. Again, it'll be October 25th at 8.30 Central Time. And then I will do a leftover board sale after that that I'll keep active until the weekend. So if it doesn't sell, check it out. If you wanna make sure you snag it, be at my live sale. So much guys for watching i hope you found some pins that you liked and enjoyed seeing all these nightmare before christmas pins that i unboxed i definitely found a few that i love for my collection as well as some i'm going to sell so stay tuned to my instagram christy pinsty for all of that and if you liked this kind of video give it a thumbs up i'll try to unbox some more when i get big collections like this as well as subscribe because i plan to have wednesday pins day where i show a bit of my collection or some collections that i purchased or some unboxings and things like that so stay tuned and thank you so much for everyone that subscribes and likes and supports my channel this is a fun hobby and i love these pins i really do and i'll have to slowly show you guys all of my collection because it's gonna take a while <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and have a pin-tastic day bye